What's going on guys, Aldrin Astacio here with FlightPath.com. In this video, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the new precision landing that's recently been added to the DJI Mavic 2 firmware update. And if you guys are new to my channel, I do a lot of tech and drone reviews as well as tips and tutorials and product reviews. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. Now precision landing is nothing new. They've actually had it on the previous versions of the Mavic. But the thing that was interesting is when they released the Mavic 2 Pro as well as the Zoom, for some odd reason, they just didn't have it inside the firmware initially. But DJI recently released a new firmware. So what I want to do right now is just test out before the firmware update and after the firmware update and see if there's a big difference with precision landing. And if you guys aren't familiar with the precision landing on the Mavic, basically it utilizes the camera sensors on the bottom of the drone to get a more accurate launch and landing point when it is going back from return to home. Now I normally don't use return to home as far as using it to fully land. I'll normally, if I have to, use return to home fly it back into the area and once I can hear it or see it then I'll just take over it and fly it and land it manually. But the thing is they have precision landing in the firmware so let's go ahead and test it out to see if it actually is a lot better after this firmware update. And what I'm gonna do in this video is do a couple flights before I do the update to see how it lands and see what position it is relative to my starting point. Then I'm gonna do the firmware update, launch it, do a couple return to homes and see if the precision landing is now in effect on the new DJI Mavic 2 firmware. Let's take this up in the air, take it out a couple hundred feet, hit return to home and see how accurate or inaccurate the return to home is before the firmware update. So, it's on its way back right now. And let's see where it lands. We're about five feet away. Same thing, we're out there a 115 meters out. Let's do return to home. We are still off. There you go. So what I wanna do now is swap out the batteries, do the firmware update, launch it up, see if there's any difference with it and put those side by side and see hopefully precision landing on the new firmware uh, hopefully works. All right, so here it is. The new firmware update has been installed onto the drone itself. We are in version now 1.00.20. Aircraft is now updated and is now ready to go. Let's take this up in the air and see if there's a difference now on return to home landing see if precision landing has been updated and see how much closer we get to the mat. Looks like it's still off, look at that. There you go, still off, even with the update. I don't know exactly what happened, firmware's updated, just tested it out right now, missed all three times. I'm not sure if there's some other setting that I might be missing, I seriously doubt it. All right, looks like it's a little bit off. Looks like it's still a little bit off. There you go. Not excited. There it is. Look. Off again. Oh, gosh. I'm not sure if I'm just doing something wrong. Everything is on the same way. Vision positioning. I'm going to try to reinstall the firmware. See if that might have something to do with it. But first attempt at uh, doing return to home on the latest firmware uh, did not work. All right, guys. So as you can see, those first few flights didn't go as planned. Ideally, what I wanted to do was really just take up the drone, see how return to home is with precision landing without the firmware updated, and try to ideally do that firmware update on the spot and then take it up again. But for some reason, when I downloaded the firmware update, tried doing it via my phone and cellular service and trying doing the update, uh, I kept getting a fail for some reason. Now, I'm not sure what it was, but I kept trying it and trying it again, and it finally installed. But the thing is, I took it up again, as you guys saw, tried it. The firmware was supposed to be updated on the drone itself, and it did show up as the updated firmware, which is that 1.00 or 1.00.20. So it actually did show up there. But some of the difference was, for some odd reason, the remote just didn't up get didn't get updated properly. Um, and then I, I, again, once you go to the aircraft about information, it kept saying update aircraft. So I had some weird things go on, and you know these are trying the things I'm trying to learn and, and experiment with and. Hopefully you guys get some benefit out of it. When I did the update, you know, on the spot, for some reason, it just did not work. I tried the precision landing again. It was way off. It was actually more off than it was before. So 
initially I was getting, you know, a couple of feet off, off the mat. Then I did it again. Three, three return homes got me like six feet off the mat. So what I did now is I took it home, redid the software update through the assistant app. Now, if you guys have never done the updates or firmware updates through the assistant app, uh, I'll leave a link up above. Make sure you guys check that one out. It just lets you set it up and you're able to do the firmware updates through your computer, which I normally always recommend. Um, I just wanted to see if I could test it out while on site, trying to do that firmware update initially yesterday, which ended up not working out for me. Let's try uh, precision landing on the new Mavic 2 Pro. After all the firmware updates, after all that trial and error, all those issues I was running into, let's see if, uh, see if it lands. Take off. Hopefully it lands this time. Slightly off, let's see if it makes some adjustments. Oh, look at that. It made some adjustments, how about that? You see that? Mid-air. There you go. Whoa, that was cool. So that was pretty cool. It was coming off about two feet away from it and about, as you can see, about 10 feet up in the air, or eight feet up in the air, it kind of adjusted and then repositioned back onto the mat. So. You know, we're only about six inches off from center, which is pretty darn good, which is really cool to see. Coming down, slightly off again, and it's off again. Look at that. Not good. I have no idea. There you go. Come on. Oh, it's a little bit off. Yeah, that's not bad. So there it is, just a little firmware update for the Mavic 2 Pro. It did seem like it helped landing a little bit. I mean, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't five feet. It wasn't six feet like I was getting earlier for some odd reason, but definitely is some improvement. Like I mentioned before, I don't really use uh, precision landing or I don't really use the landing mode that often as far as having it automated. I will normally, if I have to use return to home, I'll use return to home. Once I hear the aircraft or see it, then I'll just go into manual, take control over it and fly it back in. Normally either hand catch it or hand land it in an open area or on something like this manually. I normally wouldn't let it uh, land by itself, but the function's there, the update's there. Seems like it is a little bit better, definitely better than having it one foot off than six feet off. As always, if you guys got some value from my video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is Ultra Stasio with flightpath.com. See you guys in the next one. Take care.